after a tough loss on Friday night, what did you learn about this team from the way they rebounded back on Sunday with a dominating performance? Well, I was really proud of how they came back. Um, we really talked about the game. I think everyone was disappointed in that we uh, had some chances to, to actually go ahead in the game. Um, I was proud how they came back after we were down a goal against Bucknell, but I think everyone knows we could have uh, scored more goals um, and that we could have beat that team. Um, it was a great game. That was a really exciting game. We had a good turnout from um, fans and alums and parents at Bucknell, so uh, that was good. Um, you know, and they, I, you know, they, we had to play without Tamia Roach, um, our high score and penalty corner shooters, one of them. And so um, they just had to, you know, we made adjustments Saturday morning on our outletting and they worked hard at it. And we, you know, we, we um, put it, applied it on our game on Sunday. So um, that, was a, that was one of the keys to our success on Sunday. Um, I think we love playing at home. We love our field. We love our fans. We have great support at home. Um, obviously, you know how to play on your home field better than anywhere else. Um, we just have to come out, you know, strong and confident and believe, you know, when we hit the road that we can play just as well away on a different field um, as we do at home. Um, and I think we certainly can do that. We, we played very well against Lehigh on their home field. Um, and we actually played very well against Sacred Heart um, and should have won that game. But, um, and I thought we played well against Bucknell. So there's no reason that this team should think that we can't play well. Um, the, the outcome wasn't, you know, didn't show it sometimes, but in my mind, the performance in all our away games thus far was actually very strong. So I'm very confident that they can put together a good performance against one of the top A-10 teams um, on Friday. Speaking of A-10 teams, you're traveling to UMass this Friday. How are you preparing to open up the A-10 season? Well, we, uh, we should feel confident because we've had a lot of success thus far. And we're putting, we're scoring goals. <clears throat> That's a big plus in this sport. <clears throat> um, if you look at Colgate, we, it, it took us double overtime to beat them last year. Um, same thing, uh, Towson was a close game for us last year. So we're, we're scoring, which is a big plus. Um, I think we have to prepare defensively for we're going to come up against stronger players. Um, we have to play really strong individual one-on-one -on -one defense. And then the next step is playing really strong team defense. Because overall, player to player, they are probably 18 players deep. And they're going to rotate 18 players, and they're, they're not going to lose a beat. So we have to come out and play you know, good, strong team defense, and then a counter with confidence. Um, we're, we're really executing our counter attack very well. We're getting goals. That's what we did against Bucknell. We got a beautiful second goal off a, um, a counter attack within our, our own um, offensive 25 because we stole the ball away. And we were just so quick at it. And I said, and if we can do that against a, a UMass, um, that's a big plus. And we're going to be looking to draw corners, get some quick goals off counterattack, and play really good team defense and individual defense. And I think that is. And the other, the other big um, key point is not to give up penalty corners against a UMass.